This is the fitness tracker complete with heart rate monitoring which arrives very well presented in this retail box. The front opens outwards, gives a list of all the features including heart rate monitor, step pedometer, call alert, remote shooting on the camera, sleep monitor, wrist sense, distance measuring, sedentary notification, calories used, clock of course, several alarms and a find phone feature. It works with Android 4 and above and the Apple operating systems as well. You get a glimpse of the monitor in the box, so very well presented and it lifts out on this tray. If you can see the green flashing at the moment, that is actually the heart rate monitor, but of course I'm not wearing it now, so it can't actually measure the heartbeat. But this is the monitor. It has a nice resin strap complete with this loop. I'm always pleased to see these because if ever the pin should come unfixed for any reason, you've got this second chance here of the loop holding it rather than it falling off. So that's the monitor. And this is what it looks like when it's on. It's quite a neat fit. You can have the display either across the screen or vertically, you can adjust that. It's IPX7 rated, so you can wear it in the shower. It has numerous features, including here, you can see the time and date. Just swipe across to switch it on. The battery level and the Bluetooth icon. I've got an alarm set for Friday, five o'clock tomorrow. I've burned 46 calories today so far, walked 0.81 kilometers, not very impressive, and taken 1,134 steps. Again, not the most impressive. It also has other features as well. If you long press it for a few seconds, you then get into the sports mode with a stopwatch, a do not disturb mode, wrist sense. You can adjust the display from horizontal to vertical, heart rate monitoring. The display does go off quite quickly. Heart rate monitoring and there's an on off option as well. Just let it go back to normal now. So I'll just quickly monitor my heart rate. You don't need to do anything. It automatically measures the heart rate every few minutes or so. I haven't actually timed it, but you can see the green lamp flashing and reading it directly. So 76 beats a minute and that does tie in with readings from a blood pressure monitor. So I'm confident that it's accurate. It works in conjunction with the Very Fit for Heart app. Just demonstrate it on my phone. And it syncs simply by dragging it down. You can see there syncing. And that is now syncing with the wrist monitor. So all the readings should tally. Succeeded. 1,134 steps. Last night I slept for 5 hours 48 minutes, but you can also see the deep sleep which is in dark blue and the lighter sleep in light blue and the times when I was awake which are shown in white and those do tally exactly because I remember getting up at those times to see if it has snowed. There are the heart rate readings here. You can check the heart rate at any particular time of the day. 10.56 it peaked at 100 beats a minute. It dropped overnight to a low of 55 can also monitor activity through the day, week or month. Go to the details. You can see there I did considerably more exercise yesterday at 10947 steps. Can also look at the month and again there's quite a bit of variety there. Obviously had a slack day then. And the year, obviously we're only in January. So the week, the month, the year and you can go to any particular day and get a reading. The same also applies for sleep. That's my sleep record for this week, this month and this year. And it has the full figure stats as well as the graphs. 
So you can see an average of seven hours, one minute, average deep sleep, three hours, five minute, light sleep, three hours, 39. And it also shows my average heart rate at 64 beats per minute. So it's quite useful and it's quite fun as well. And it is also quite accurate. And certainly with the activity monitor, it is a good incentive to try and do a little bit more each day and stay active. There are user settings as well where you can enter your own height and weight, for example, so that calories burned are going to be more accurate than just taking standard readings. And also you can set your own maximum heart rate based on your age. Other options including call alerts, so the wrist bracelet will vibrate if there's a call or message coming in. You can operate a camera from it and if you should misplace your phone you can find it via the phone finder option on the wristband if that's activated. So very useful, very easy to use, very easy to sync as well. And a feature I particularly like on this is when it comes to charging it you can simply pop the unit out of the wristband so there's no need to actually remove the band at all, even though it is quite easy to fit and fasten, unlike some. And this is the unit itself. So all you need to do is plug that into a USB port to charge it. A charge lasts about five to 10 days, according to the book. In practice, I've had about six or seven days use out of it, but it's no great hardship to charge it. It takes about an hour or so. I have really enjoyed using this. It's accurate, it's motivating, it's comfortable to wear. In fact, really, just forget you've got it on. I also use it as a general day-to-day -day clock and alarm clock. I mentioned earlier that I've got an alarm set on it for three o'clock every Friday. I've been using this for about a month now and I've really enjoyed the experience. I like the usability of it, the charts, the graphs, the fact anything can be shared very easily and just generally it's very easy to use, very reliable and although I've seen much more expensive wristbands and fitness monitors, I think for the price of this it offers quite exceptional value for money combined with complete reliability and a very good usable app. So very impressed with this and it's one I would definitely recommend.